Hey guys, my name is Josh Smith. I'm president of Montana Knife Company, and today I'm super excited to go over the flathead fillet with you guys. So it's been a while since we've dropped this knife and a ton of our customers have been asking about it. I'm, I'm very excited to finally have this back. Uh, it was really popular when we launched it the first time. We just did not anticipate how many of these we would sell. So finally we have it back. So I'm gonna cover a few details with you about this knife. First, I wanna start by saying we intended this as a fillet knife, but quite frankly, most of our customers have been using this as a boning knife as well. Deer, elk, uh, you know, if you're, if you're butchering your own hogs or your own cattle. Uh, so you can really use this knife for fishing or in the boning process, in the meat process. So let's go over some details about this knife. It's 12 and a quarter inches long from tip to tip, and then it's got a seven and a half inch blade from the tip of the blade to the front of the handle. This blade is about 90 thousandths thick, which gives it really nice flexibility when I push down on a, on a flat table, on a cutting board. If you are doing that filleting stuff, it's got some flex, flex to it. But honestly, I think we did a really good job of kind of balancing too much flex versus not enough. So it's still got a little stiffness, especially in that boning situation where you wanna get in along that bone, push along that bone and ride it out and find those, uh, those seams in the meat. The other thing that this handle has is a G10 handle scale. Just like our other hunting knives that we put out, this G10 is a synthetic fiberglass epoxy mix. It's made in America. Uh, it's absolutely bulletproof, especially in a situation here with a fillet knife where you're gonna be in salt water, uh, maybe fresh water, frozen conditions. Uh, we left the milling texture on this handle so it doesn't get too slippery if you're out there uh, with like fish slime on it or just in freezing conditions. In regards to that also, the blade is stainless. It's magna cut stainless steel. Uh, this is the first time we've launched these in magna cut. Our original ones were AEBL, which is a good steel, but the magna cut is a serious step up in the cutting ability, the edge holding ability of that steel. So AEBL is nice, it takes a really nice edge, but this magna cut is just next level. So I'm very excited to have this out in magna cut. It is stainless, so you're fine with salt water, uh, and it is also Cerakoted as well. So it's gonna kinda keep things from sticking to it pretty good. It's gonna be easy to clean and put up to those harsh conditions. Uh, even though it is stainless, especially in salt water, it's good to clean them off when you're done. Stainless steel is not completely stainless. It still can get a little bit if you just let stuff sit on it for a long time. So this also comes with a sheath. The flathead fillet comes with a Kydex sheath uh, that you can put on your belt so if you're on a boat and you're using it a bunch, it can be handy. You can also just clip it in a handy spot on a boat. Uh, and there again, if you're using it in a boning application, again, you can, you, you can wear that on your belt. Uh, you can also adjust this clip, this, uh, this belt clip to carry it 90 degrees, so horizontal or vertical. Uh, you can also switch sides if you're a lefty. Uh, it's just handy in a lot of situations. So guys, that's the flathead filet. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention it's got titanium screws uh, that actually hold this handle on so they won't rust as well. Uh, and they look pretty cool if I don't say so myself. So this is the flatted fillet. When you're putting in that sheath, you gotta kinda walk it in there just a little bit, that tip. That tip wants to hang up just a tiny bit if you stab it in in the wrong spot. When you're putting it in there, that tip is so sharp, it'll wanna catch just a little. So just rock that, rock that edge down, just work it into that sheath and then snap it into position. We also have a retention screw here. Uh, if it starts to get just a little loose or you wanna make sure it's not gonna come out, you can loosen or tighten that depending on the tension that you would like to have. So that's our flathead filet. I'm super excited about this coming back out. I love this knife and uh, I hope you guys can pick one up. Thank you.